everyone to another Coach Blaker video. Today, we're gonna learn how to counter Aurelian Soul. A lot of students that I've coached, a lot of players when I'm streaming, um, just a lot of players in general. A lot of people think this champ is really, really OP. And the thing about champions that are new, that are reworked, a lot of the times players don't understand, you really have to learn how to play against it first. If you remember playing League of Legends from back in the day when you started, everything seemed OP. Everything seemed really hard to handle. Everything seemed like you couldn't win. It's the same thing when they release champions, when they release uh, reworks. We're, we're kind of having that, that feeling again. And maybe some people forgot what that feeling is like. But as a coach uh, and as a player, I'm gonna try to help you understand. So the Q that, I, that Aurelian Soul has is able to pretty much follow anything around. You see? And a lot of people find that really OP, especially if you know he's way back here and it's unfair. One thing you wanna realize is that not only does he have to like wiggle it around? It's quick, don't get me wrong. But you also want to keep in mind that if you are closer, it's a lot harder for him to hit this ability. And that just has to do with, um, do, 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 let me do myself some mana. That just has to do with geometry. <laughs> that I did not get straight A's in, let me be honest. But if something is closer to the, to the focal point, it's a lot harder for you to land it. Think about this. If he moves around, right, look how much I have to move. I have to kind of like move it way more than if I'm this far away at his max range and he decides to wiggle left and right. You see, it's not it's not that bad. So one thing to think about is you want to get close to him. So if you're a long range champ going against this champion, well, you might be struggling. But if you have the ability to get close, whether you're an AD carry, whether you're a mid leader like LeBlanc or something like that, if you can get close to him, it's a lot easier for you to deal with his kit. Let's talk about his W. So his W is the same thing as his E used to be, except he could then, you know, shoot it. And then it resets off kill. Very easy to explain this ability, and it's very easy to counter this ability. If we think about Kled, it's the same thing with him. Let me go ahead and do my cooldowns. He can't change this. Once he casts it, he can't move it. He has to then go to that location. Two ways we counter this. One, just move, right? Just move. Think about what the Aurelian Soul is going to do before he does it. That's the type of champion this one is. So with this W, you can stun him, whatever you need to do, hit him, and he'll stop. But also, with this Q, it's the same thing. It's a, it's a channel. You can knock him out of it. So knock him out of both of them. With this Q, get close, or knock him out. With this W, change your pathing, knock him out, he's done. The next thing is his E. Now this one, <laughs> this was weird, because it's kind of like Lux without travel time. It's kind of the same exact thing as Lux, except it doesn't shoot, right? It just appears. How you deal with this is the same way you deal with Lux E. You have to think about where he's going to put it, right? If you're fighting this guy and it looks like you're, I don't know, if you're just gonna go straight, he's gonna then put it right behind you. But if you're fighting this guy and you're like juking all over the place, he's gonna have a harder time pinpointing where you put it. And that means it's not gonna be directly on you. You're probably gonna be on the edge and it's gonna be very easy for you to get out of the suction, okay? And then as far as R goes, yeah, I mean, this ability, there's not really a way to counter this ability. You're gonna get smacked. And when it's huge, it's huge, and you're gonna get smacked. I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna get smacked. But the main thing to keep in mind is that the way this champion works is he has to have everything together in succession. His Q by itself is not that great. His E by itself is not that great. His W by itself is not that great. And then his ult by itself, again, you're not dodging it, but it's not that great. The way that it becomes great is by stacking all of them together like that right then it's way worse so how do you beat aurelian soul like yeah, like i said you're not once it gets really big you're not dodging it i'm sorry to say you're just kind of screwed <laughs> if you get smacked by it but again if you are moving it's very easy to dodge that ability you just have to like see it i think they need to adjust the way that it comes down because this combined with his other abilities it's hard to tell what his what is his ultimate and what isn't his ultimate so i think they need to do a little color adjustments but that's how you deal with the really insult. So just quick, quick recap. With his Q, get close as possible or stun him. You'll stop. His W, change the way that you're moving so that he can't chase you or knock him out by stunning him, snaring him, whatever. Same exact thing. His E, think about Lux. You're not dodging Lux's ability if it's already on its way. But you can dodge it before it's on his way. So get in his mind, think about where he's going to throw it, and you'll be able to dodge it. And then his R, again, you just might get hit by that. 
Um, when it's big, that's a different story. When it's small, I mean, obviously you have time to move. It's like a Cho'Gath knockup. You have time to move. It's not really that crazy. But when it's big, you're going to get smacked. So you have to keep that in mind. So, I hope this video helps you guys. Um, I, was going, I was explaining it on stream. So I was like, I might as well record and use this moment to explain. I've went against three or four Aurelian Souls today. And I've handled them all the same way. Some of them were worse than the others, I will say. But I handled them all the same way. And so I hope that helps you guys. And I hope you guys are able to handle them the same way. So it's not much of an issue. The reason why he seems so strong is because when he piles all of his abilities onto one another, that's when they become an issue. So try to make sure that he can't do that and be more aware, understand what he's about to do, and that's how you counter him. You have to actually think to beat the champion. There's a couple of champs that are like that. Uh, Aurelian Soul, Azir, Rise, Phileos. Like, there's champs you have to understand in order to beat them, and Azir, or Aurelian Soul is one of those. So you have to understand how he works to beat him. Once you do, it's easy. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Till next time, do what I always say. Thank you guys for doing what? Approaching this like a coach.